I'm a black man. I met Black Sage a couple years ago and his words blew my mind. He made me realise how much I didn't know. So we linked up and started BMSG. BMSG believes its duty is to improve the black community we belong to by standing on the shoulders of the older generations. BMSG is for the black man who values wisdom, experience and knowledge. I like reading in the shower. Yeah. Sounds odd. But I read audiobooks in the shower. This is something I've got from a guy called Dan Charnas. Work clean. Multitasking. Mm -hmm. Utilising those mundane moments in life to do something that can nourish and uplift you. So, normally what someone would do, they would get a book and they would sit down and say, like, I have to get in the mood to read it, right? Right. It's difficult to get in the mood to read it, but you know if you read it, it's going to benefit you, right? Yeah. Ah. So, what I've kind of taken that principle and I said, all right, I'll get an audio book. And when I'm showering and lotioning up my body, I'm putting on my clothes, listen to the book. Listen to it on audio, mm. right? So I'm introducing myself to new concepts, new ideas, yeah. or reaffirming things I might know, which then makes me go, okay, don't have to worry, it's normal. Uh, I'm, I'm not the only person out here going mad. I'm not the only person out here feeling low. But I'm also getting strategies to deal with that feeling. Mm. The water beating your body is a relaxant, it's like yeah. a massage. So that's a good thing. You're cleaning your body, you're smelling nice, that's a good thing. You're educating your mind, right? That's a good thing. You're basically programming your mind with everything you do, cleaning your body, massaging your body, elevating your mind, trying to make a connection. You're programming your mind to remain in the now, but on the optimistic side of the now. Yeah. And that's how I, if I feel low, like, I don't want to move today, I don't want to come out of bed. That's how I get on with the day. So, like, relating it back to, the, you know, the now, the thing that we're living through, this coronavirus pandemic and yeah. lockdown, you're saying to focus more on the things that we can change rather than the things that we can't. Yeah, most definitely. Hmm. And you'll be surprised that us in the West, it's not about what we have to change is about what we have. We have a lot more than we think we have. Yeah. So sometimes we compare ourselves to the good times we had and look at ourselves now and think, oh, life is down and out. Or we compare ourselves to people like Puff Daddy or I don't know, Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Another thing I do is I compare myself to, I don't know, someone who lives in Nigeria and they don't have a toilet in their house. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, I got toilet paper. I got running water. I could flush the toilet at least. Mm. Like, I got shoes, I, I look at my, you know, I got like 150 pair of trainers. Like, there's people in Jamaica that are walking barefoot. So I'm there thinking, oh, I'm low, but then I go, yeah, I'm low, but I know there's some people in Jamaica that got no shoes. That's true. I got shoes. So I try to find things that I, I could be grateful for. Yeah. And the other thing, Boris is a bastard. <laughs> Keir Starmer is a bigger bastard. But Boris is a bastard, right? He's in charge, right? And they're making decisions like they don't know the emotional impact it's going to have on us. Mm. They know. They know what they're doing to us, right? They, they've got rhetorical empathy. They don't have real empathy. They just say it to make it sound good, but they don't actually feel it. Mm. Before Boris got sick, I felt his empathy. Like he cared about how this thing was impacting us. After getting sick, I don't feel it from him no more. I've never felt it from Keir. Keir's like, more lockdown, quicker, more lockdown, for longer, do it now. That's Keir Starmer, right? Same in America. There's no empathy for us, right? So I use that anger I have at their lack of empathy. I channel that anger and I say, I'm not going to allow you to have the desired effect you want to have on me. That's key. I channel that and I say, I'm going to find whatever it is I can to make sure I stay on an even keel, I stay level, I don't fall below that line, so you can go, yes, another success. I'm not giving them that success. 
no way, just it, how about Jamaica? Mm. We don't lose. Yeah, we got the spirit of Usain Bolt. Yeah. We don't lose. And think of it like Usain Bolt is the zebra that the lion is chasing, but the zebra is faster than the lion. Mm. Right? Think about it. Prey are faster than predators. Yeah. They have to be. They have to evolve to be faster. So I think of Boris as a predator. I think of Keir Starmer as a predator. I think of Joe Biden as a predator. They're not on our side. They want to lock us down and drive us insane, right? And they're trying to catch me. They're very close. So I have to evolve. As, as they get faster, and as they get more cunning, I have to get faster and more vigilant. So I use that mindset to channel the anger they generate in. I don't know if you saw the Michael Jordan documentary, and mm. he says that over time, you know, the guys won everything. Mm. And after a while, he had to start finding motivation, inspiration in different ways. So he picked fights with people <laughs> yeah. right. and created enemies. Not yeah. to say not to say that then, you know, he was creating he was creating situations that may not have been real. Yes. But I feel like this is a situation that has got some crazy motivation, as you said. Yeah. If we can we can channel it. I mean what's the alternative? Do you wanna lose? That's a question, you want to lose? Of course not. No. Right, so you're looking for ways to win, right? Yeah. You heard anything today that you could incorporate to help you win? Yeah, everything you said. It's a lot, but... <laughs> from the comments... <laughs> but porn? As a <laughs> me medical grade, <laughs> medical grade porn. Medical grade porn, as yeah. As a coping mechanism. <laughs> yeah. Essential oils. Essential oils. Um, Hygiene, showering. Yeah, man. Multitasking, as you multitasking, said. Multitasking, yeah. Keep enriching, enriching your mind, your soul. Yeah. And um, perspective. Perspective. Stop yeah. comparing yourself with those that are very successful. Yeah. Compare yourself with those that are in very depraved, lacking environments. Mm -hmm. And then gratitude from that. Gratitude. That's the word. Mm. We gotta have gratitude. Yeah. Gratitude is our must. <laughs> we gotta have gratitude. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for your company. You've made my day today. It's the simple things, you know, it's the little things. Yeah. Like you bring something that I didn't have before, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you might be sat at home and not realize that you bring light to people sometimes. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, this, this guy's a genius, he's a great musician, he's a great teacher, he's, he's articulate, he's thoughtful. So don't let Boris win. More to the point, don't let Kira win. I'm definitely not let Biden win.